Scientists are warning of the end of the conquer as the horse chestnut tree is set to all but disappear from the British landscape within 15 years. Experts predict that the country will lose 2 million of them to a lethal cocktail of pest and disease over that period. And new saplings are not being planted because they last only 3 to 5 years before they are killed by an invasive moth that is thought to have come ridden in the back of a lorry. This week 190 competitors from countries including Russia, the US and Japan and took part in the annual World Conquer Championships in Southwick, Northamptonshire. But scientists say autumn conquers will become very tricky to find as Britain suffers the biggest change to the landscape since the Dutch elm disease of the 70s. The leaf miner moth arrived from Greece in 2002 and first appeared on the edge of Wimbledon Common in southwest London. Since then, it has spread from London throughout England and Wales and last year was discovered in Scotland for the first time by researchers. The moth larvae ravages horse chestnuts, causing their leaves to turn prematurely brown and drop in summer while seeds produced are too small and shriveled for a game of conkers. The moth kills off younger trees and leaves more mature trees susceptible to deadly diseases, notably bleeding canker. A nationwide forestry commission survey of horse chestnuts in 2007 found that over 70% in parts of England had bleeding canker, which leaves weeping sores on a tree's bark, and 36% and 42% of survey trees showed those symptoms in Wales and Scotland respectively. The bleeding canker epidemic is now believed to be much worse and two other diseases, leaf blotch and branch debac, are also hitting horse chestnuts. Both are caused by fungi and are thought to have been around for many years but have recently become more virulent, probably because of wetter summers and warmer winters. The Forestry Commission estimates that Britain currently has 2 million horse chestnuts, 500,000 in woodland land and the rest in parks, streets and gardens. But long-standing, majestic white and red flowering trees that have delighted generations are dying at an ever faster rate and most survivors are a withered shadow of their former selves. Council Health and Safety Officers nationwide are ordering the removal of horse chestnuts for fear that disease branches might break off and injure passers-by. Professor Stephen Woodward of Aberdeen University, one of the UK's leading experts on tree diseases, said, the the likelihood of total extinction is relatively low but horse chestnuts are being decimated in places and eventually most will disappear. Bleeding canker is now widespread and once it is in a location, most of the trees in that area suffer from it and die within a couple of years. It is very sad because these are very beautiful trees when they are in bloom as well as people being able to collect conkers from them. They are being hit by pests and diseases which are now so thoroughly established that there is now no realistic prospect of controlling them. Dr. Glenn Percival of the University of Reading's Bartlett Tree Research Laboratory said that there are no new horse chestnuts surviving to replace older trees dying out. He said, We have been germinating the horse chestnut in pots and in the ground to monitor how long they survive. They get infested with leaf miner caterpillars and most of them are gone by year three and none are left by year five. Leaf miner defoliates the leaves and they cannot produce enough energy to grow from year to year. That means that there are no new horse chestnuts coming through. More mature trees are strong enough to resist leaf miner but they slowly deteriorate from bleeding canker. They either die or get replaced and in the next 15 years people are really going to notice that they are not there anymore. 17 mature horse chestnuts were recently felled in Reading's Prospect Park, a grade 2 listed park in the English Heritage Register of Historic Parks and Gardens. In December, many magnificent horse chestnuts planted in 1932 to create an Avenue of Remembrance in Hearn Bay's Memorial Park in Kent were cut down. Avenues of horse chestnuts at National Trust sites have also fallen victim to tree surgeons in recent years. Native to the Balkans, horse chestnuts were first imported to England in the 1600s to adorn the gardens and landscape parkland estates of the wealthy. Conquerors in their cases fall in September with the first recorded game using the nut of the tree taking place in 1848. While the red horse chestnut is as beautiful as the common and white variety. Its nuts, which fall to the ground in smooth round casings rather than the white spiky ones, are of less use to conquer fans as they are much smaller.